guys were a team built from scratch at the beginning of the year? What does it say that you guys got as far as you did? Um, I think it just says a lot about, you know, the organization. With, uh, starting from the coaches and um, Mr. Petrovic and, uh, and then filters down to like the leaders on the team. Um, you can't really say enough about everyone really and especially the town too with all the support that we got. What is it about this group? I think you're possibly the closest team I've ever seen. I, th I think so too. Um, I, I was joking about it, you know, when being in college for four years, you're with, you're with the same, same guys for most of the time and uh, you don't see co the cohesiveness like that too often. Um, you know, I know my classmates from school were very, very close, we keep in touch all the time, but I know that it, the same thing is probably going to happen with this team as well. Um, what is it about the on the ice stuff that you guys got as far as you did? I think it was just we, you know, we had fun, you know, and it's having fun playing hockey can mean a bunch of different things. Um, sometimes off ice activities might get in the way of that, but I think we, everyone genuinely had a good time playing hockey. And uh, even though it was our job, it didn't feel like it at all. Um, what did you, as a player, take from this year? I think I just learned a lot about about the game. That it's stuff that I, little things that I picked up that I never would have, I think, picked up somewhere else from the coaches, the older guys like uh, like Broads and Mac and uh, you know Mike Bergen, and guys, guys. Guys in the locker room know a lot about the game, and um, it says a lot, especially with the, with the younger guys like myself. You know, have that respect for the older guys because they treated us with respect. They didn't treat us like peons or anything like that. You know. Um, I actually didn't realize this until Zach said it earlier. Um, what does it mean that I think you were the only tryout at training camp to then stick through the entire year? <laughs> um, I mean. I don't know. I, there's not really much I could say. Thank you. Thanks to Kale for having me. I guess I don't know. There's not a whole lot else to say. Um, but I, you know, I knew that once I got here, that this was a place that I wanted to stick around in, um, just because you know I love this area. I've been in upstate New York for five years now. Um, but at the same time, like with this team, with how it's run and how well we're treated by everyone, it's unbelievable. Um. Did you, did you feel like you learned about yourself as a person? Yeah, absolutely. I definitely, you, you, you know, when you have a full-time job like this, you kind of learn a lot about yourself. Um, and, you know, you can look back at different points of the season. I'm sure everyone will say, like, when we went through the one stretch where, you know, the points weren't coming easy, we were losing a lot. Uh, you certainly learn a lot about yourself through those hard times and you do when things are good. Um, so I know for me as a person, I grew you know, physically and mentally, you know, and emotionally as a person. Um, you, uh, were there any community appearances that stick out as being um, No, fun? no, I enjoyed doing all of that. I mean, that's, that's something that me and, like, Mike and all the other guys, like uh, Dana and Kirky and Crank and Hank, um, you know, whenever we got to do stuff like that, it wasn't looked at as a chore. It was like we, I think sometimes we ended up having more fun than some of the people that we were trying to entertain. Uh, I remember like sticking around for board games. Yeah, that, like that was cool. I hadn't played, I hadn't played Jenga or Twister since I was like six, so I got to do that. And that was a blast. Um, lastly, I have an impossible question. Um, do you? Is there anything that sticks out as being kind of your top moment of the year? <laughs> Top moment of the year. One of the top moments. Um, I think probably the game five here against Soko, uh, winning it in overtime, and I was lucky enough to be on the ice for, for that goal. Um, I think just like how we all felt together and stuff, you know, unfortunately it didn't end up uh, in the long run working out for us, but. Um, you know, those types of moments where everyone gets to look each other in the eye and belly bump and stuff like that, it's pretty sweet.